So why are people leaving beautiful California for states like Utah, Idaho, Montana, Nevada, Texas, Florida? After all, California is home to some iconic sites, some dreamy beaches, probably some of the best beaches in the world, some amazing scenery like the Golden Gate Bridge. We can't forget some unique job opportunities. If you want to be in the movie and TV industry, there's only one place in the world. That's Hollywood, California. So who would leave such a state and why? Well, on this video, I'm going to discuss reasons that I've heard about. Some of the answers may surprise you. We're getting after it right now. And I'm Mike Gallagher. Welcome to the Living in Utah channel. On this channel, I produce a weekly video about the state of Utah. I also hold a live question and answer session right here on YouTube. If you are making that move from California to Utah, I am a licensed agent. If you need any assistance with buying a home, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. My contact information will be on the screen and in the show notes. So you might be shocked to find out that roughly 700,000 people have left the state of California in the last year alone. It's a shocking number. And it's not just people who have lived there for a couple years, didn't like it, and decided to move back home. There are people who were born and raised in California their whole life that are deciding to make the move out of California. Now, there are many reasons why people leave a particular area. In the case of California, I've come up with the following list in no particular order. Coming at number one on the list, political problems. Now, I'm not a person that will sit here and say red versus blue, what is great, what is not. But the residents of California, mostly, they support their state policies. But there is a growing amount of conservatives and moderate voters that feel like the state is moving too far to the left. On top of that, there are some growing union influence, some restrictions on law enforcement, the end of standardized testing in state universities. This has led a lot of people to feel like their vote doesn't count anymore and that the politicians are catering to the large cities like LA, San Diego, San Francisco without considering the rural residents of California. Top of that, the pandemic lockdowns have been a issue. California closed while states like Utah, Texas, Florida, we were wide open for business. I watched it here in Utah. Disneyland closed, Disney World open. What a contrast. There are other businesses that are affected too, like if you owned a restaurant, a bar, a gym, personal care services, tourism, they all suffered during the pandemic. Most were closed. And I would guess that quite a few went out of business. The ones that were left, they considered moving to other states where they might have a higher chance of surviving. So before we get to number two on the list, if you'd like to find out more information about living in Utah, you may consider tapping that subscribe button down below and hitting that bell notification. You'll receive an alert every time I release a new video. So coming in at number two on the list, rising taxes. Californians are used to paying a high tax rate. After all, the top income tax rate in California is about 13.3%. But if the lawmakers get their way, they would like to raise that to 17%, 17%, which it would affect the rich. Yes, it would. But it would also affect the small business owners who have been struggling over the last year just to stay in business due to the pandemic. It might be the final straw that puts them out of business. We can't forget in California, they have a sales tax rate of 7% and that 50 cent gas tax. Plus, California is known for having one of the highest property tax rates on homes in the nation. And under the last president, President Trump, he introduced a tax cut plan, but some residents of California cannot deduct some of the costs that they used to be able to deduct on their taxes. So they've been hurt in that manner also. I read somewhere that if the new tax bills pass, the federal tax bills that they're talking about and the California state tax bills, if you are making $500,000, and I know $500,000 is a lot of money, they may have to pay $210,000 in combined taxes. That's almost half of what you would make. Now, we can't forget about the one proposal that California is talking about. 
the exit tax. Every time I hear the name exit tax, I almost break out laughing. I can't believe that the state of California would like to pass a tax that if you leave the state, you may have to pay up to 10 years a so-called exit tax. I'm going to take a saying from the current president. Come on, man. I mean, what are they thinking? Coming in at number three on the list, I'm going to call this one social problems. Right now in California, there's approximately 150,000 homeless people, more than any other state. Some of these individuals have some mental issues and also some serious drug issues. And the residents there just feel like the state of California is not doing enough to help these individuals out. As a matter of fact, residents are making a record number of police reports about the homeless. And it's not just one or two areas. You can find homeless camps in wealthy residential areas. Seems to be an issue throughout the whole state. Since the state is not doing a whole lot to get things sorted out, some residents are fed up, which is also causing them to leave the state of California. Coming in at number four on my list, crime. No matter where you go in the United States, the crime rate statistics are very important for where people would like to move to. Well, currently in California, violent crime is on the rise ever since the pandemic. There's a variety of reasons possibly that have caused the issue. But some people feel that the lockdowns have been a major contributor to the increase in the violent crime. There's also a couple other things that people are telling me about that's going on in California. And the first one would be the defund the police movement. They would like to take money away from the police departments, which possibly would leave less police officers in neighborhoods to protect and serve. There's also a movement right now to release people from prison. There's a few people in California that are considering moving out of the state. They feel that the neighborhoods possibly would change in the upcoming years and decades that are going by. And there's another issue that I hear about and that is the lower levels of prosecution. There's a movement going around by some of the cities and counties that if, let's say we take um, shoplifting for instance, they might have a dollar limit that if you shoplift below a certain dollar limit, they may not prosecute you. Now, there's citizens that are concerned about this and also businesses are concerned. Some businesses feel it would just open the doors for people to walk into their stores steal a bunch of items under a certain dollar amount and feel like they would not be prosecuted. Coming at number five on the list, the housing crisis. The medium cost of a house in California is very expensive. It has been that way for many years, 10, 20, 30 plus years, nothing new. When we talk about the rents, the average rent in California is $2,800. The national average across the United States is about $1,600. There is a big difference. I'm told by many clients, if you're not rich or willing to live with friends or live with relatives, then it's tough to afford California living. Then there's the issues with the building permits. The local officials hold all the approvals to get something built. And there's a big push for the not in my backyard movement. You can build that new house, that new multiplex, that new apartment building, but not in my backyard. Everybody seems to be saying that and there's nowhere to put new projects. Then there's the protect the environment or preserve neighborhood character argument that goes on. And these fights go on city after city, trying to get something built. California also has some outdated zoning laws that make it difficult for a developer or a builder to get projects done and or projects approved. Now, this is not a new issue. California has had a long-term housing shortage that has gone on for many years. Coming in at number six on the list, I'm gonna call this one human waste. When it's described to me though, people use a word that begins with an S. But my videos are family friendly, G-rated, so I'm gonna keep with the term human waste. It's not uncommon in California these days to see human waste on the streets of some of the largest cities in California, San Francisco, LA, San Diego, I once read at where San Francisco was named the doo-doo capital of the U.S. Shocking. A lot of it can be labeled down to the large homeless population. Could be part of the blame. Makes you wonder, and some of the residents of California are also wondering, 
is the state government doing enough with the homeless population and what ramifications it also brings to the state of California. I personally worry about the spreading of diseases through the homeless camps. Probably could spread fairly quickly. We know that the pandemic virus has gone through quite a few homeless camps in many cities. So you wonder about some of the other potential diseases that could be going through some of them homeless camps. As a matter of fact, a friend of mine just got back from Santa Monica about six, seven weeks ago. He told me I would be absolutely shocked. It's an area that I have visited many times on my trips to California. I like Santa Monica. He was shocked to see the condition that the city was in currently with the homeless camps and how unclean and dirty that the city felt. Coming in at number seven on the list, we're going to call this one the ease of working from home. Yes, working remotely has increased ever since the pandemic started. More and more companies are allowing workers to work from home instead of coming to the office. It's happening in just about every state. You can work for a California company but be located anywhere in the country. As a matter of fact, you possibly could be located anywhere in the world. Sometimes you might choose a city that has a lower cost of living compared to the cost of living in California. It's a different environment. It is changing daily. I received a reach out from a gentleman in Europe that works for a European company that would like to move to Utah. His company will allow him to work anywhere in the world provided that he does it during their business hours which would be approximately about 1 a.m to about 9 a.m in the evening and he was totally okay with that coming in at number eight on my list will be the devastating wildfires in 2020 there were over 8500 fires that burned over two million acres of land in california Those numbers are amazing. 8,500 fires, 2 million acres of land. That is huge. As a matter of fact, it was the biggest wildfire in California history. It has led to some people leaving the state of California. Some people feel that the situation will not get any better in the future, especially people who have been caught up in any of the wildfires now or in the past. They just feel that you have the destruction occur and then you're rebuilding your home destruction rebuild your home they do not want to live a life of that continuous cycle but it's not only the rural areas that were affected the thick smoke forced residents all over the state to stay indoors even in the largest cities of california san francisco la san diego the air quality was not very good as a matter of fact we noticed it here in the state of utah As the winds blew this direction, it blew the wildfire smoke right into our state. Our air quality dropped to a low standard. We could see it on a daily basis. And it would be cloudy outside and we could smell the um, burning smell from them California wildfires. So that's some of the reasons that people are leaving the state of California. We also have some celebrities leaving the state of California. A couple that come to mind would be Joe Rogan, who is a famous podcaster. There's Chris Hemsworth, who is a famous actor. You've got Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively have decided to leave California. And Graham Stephen, he's a YouTube celeb, has made quite a bit of money in real estate and on YouTube, is now calling Las Vegas home. So in conclusion, that's some of the reasons that people are leaving the state of California at the current moment. If you do have any kind of questions, by all means, reach out to me. Give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. Until the next video, take care and stay safe.